Okay, Virgos, let's get started. We start with the recent past. Now, I'm showing that with the Hierophant, that romance was likely to be going very, very, very well in the past, although in a pretty traditional way. Those energies would have worked best for you if you could have conducted yourself in whatever way someone in your shoes was expected to be at that time. So back then in the past was not, it was not a good time to buck the system or to be unconventional any more than you had to be. That card is paired with the Four of Pentacles. Okay, so with the Four of Pentacles, uh, this card shows that it's about fear. Basically, when it comes to love. So either you were holding on too tight to a situation or a lover or someone was attempting to do that to you. This is clinging, and clinging is not healthy. The true love allows for space between the lovers, and no matter what, one can never really control one another. So if you were single, and you thought that you were ready for a relationship, you probably realized that you would have been doubtedly, you would have doubtedly had to step aside, maybe to comf maybe to step, a step outside of your comfort zone. Yeah, so you realize that you would have had to step outside of your comfort, comfort zone. You would have done that to make it have to make things happen as far as love. You remember that true love wouldn't have just dropped out of the sky. Now that was the recent past. Now we move on to the present at the very top in the middle. Starts with the four of wands. Okay, so when it comes to love, this card indicates that your relationship is about to become a whole lot more committed up to and including a potential marriage, okay? So if you're looking for love, it shows that special events like weddings or bar mitzvahs, uh, commitment, maybe commitment ceremonies, something like that, they are a very good place to meet someone special now. So if you get invited to something like this and you are single, make sure you make it a point to go. And this card is paired with the Temperance. Okay, now the Temperance card, often before you can really have peace and wisdom in your relationships, you need to have peace with yourself within. So look at what you feel guilty about, mistakes that you feel you've made in your past, then forgive yourself and let them go it's the only way you can truly make progress. So with these two cards paired together, you want to you want to um, let go of the past so you can enjoy the future. And if you're single, you, you really need to start getting out to mix and mingle. Okay, because now is a good time to find love or a relationship, but you really need to get out there. And then we go on to the, the challenge, which are the cards in the middle below, the two cards, and it starts with the Five of Swords. Unfortunately, when the Five of Swords appears, in the context of love, conflict is near for certain, okay? Things may not work out as you would hope with a love relationship. So think calmly and therefore... Uh, make sure you think calmly and carefully about what your deal, deal breakers are in a relationship. You want to be honest with yourself first, then be honest with your loved ones 
accept reality. Okay, and then it's paired, the card is paired with the Four of Swords. So if you are currently in a romantic relationship, you may be feeling a bit disconnected. So it is important to let your partner know what is going on inside. But remember that your feelings are your own. It is not necessarily their jo job to try to make you feel fabulous all the time. It may be that you are simply needing some time apart. So don't hesitate to take time apart if that's what you need. Okay, so if you're looking for love, now is not the time to push. You'd be better off getting very, very specific about exactly what you are looking for in a relationship. The time will come when you will meet someone, but the time is probably not in the immediate. Okay, so that will be your challenge. And now we move on to the Knight of Swords, which is going to be your outcome. And there are the cards to the very right. So with the Knight of Swords, you may literally be about to sweep. You may literally be about to You may literally be about to sweep off your feet, whatever or whether you are a male or a female. You are currently in a committed relationship. If you are, it may be about to be brightened up quite a bit and become a whole lot deeper and more satisfying. Okay? So if you're looking for love, it may come along when you least expect it. So that's what I mean by you being about, you're, you may be about to get swept off your feet. Okay? So it may come when you least expect it, but remember you have to be having some sort of contact with other people for the door to be open for this. So get dressed up and go out on the town. You'll have a blast. Okay, and this card is paired with the Ace of Swords. Now with the Ace of Swords, okay, that can mean you are ready to start something new. And if you're currently in a committed relationship, it can indicate that there's something about this relationship that you will choose to put a stop to. Don't hesitate to speak your mind. If something in the relationship is hurtful or bad for you and you lose your partner because you say so, you haven't really lost. You are being guided toward a relationship that is better for you. So always speak your mind and make sure you tell the truth. So with these two cards paired together, uh, basically someone may be coming along to sweep you off your feet. Uh, this could be un unexpected, uh, but it's important to keep the communication open and speak your mind and tell the truth. So don't hold back on your feelings. Okay, Virgos, I hope this is a, is a great month for you. And I want to say thank you so much for watching and have a great day.